So I'm going to be using as many new Wet n Wild products today as I possibly can. I have a box here, like literally. Fuck. Literally a box full of stuff. So I'm going to be using a lot, a lot of Wet n Wild products today, trying new things out. So the first thing I'm going to be trying out is the new Dewy uh, face primer. And I'm so scared to use this because I have oily skin. So this is gonna be really interesting, but I still wanted to see how it wears. It does say vegan on the back, which is really nice and really helpful. So I've never tried a Dewy primer before. So I'm pretty nervous, not gonna lie. So let's see, lightweight formula infused with vitamin E. Smooth skin for even makeup application. Apply this clean skin. My skin is clean. And use alone or under foundation to achieve a luminous finish. So this is going to be interesting. So it does have like a tint to it. It has a slight tint to the skin. But I wouldn't say it's like a BB cream or anything like that. It has like a little bit of glitter in it. Do I look luminous? Luminosity. I have like a couple dry spots on my nose. My nose is so dry. I think it's from the, ooh, this is sticky. Ooh, this is weird. I think it's from the fires that have been in LA recently. Oh my God, look at my skin. Oh, <gasps> dude, I am like glowing. Like I am actually glowing. Anyway, my nose has been really dry lately. I think it's because of the fires, but it was like bleeding and it has like these crusties on the outside because obviously LA was just on fire if you guys don't know. Oh my god, I am so glowy. I've never seen this before. They came out with new foundations and unfortunately they came out with only eight shades. What the hell? What and wild? You did so good. You were doing so good. This is the lightest shade, 106A Light Ivory. Honestly, Wet n Wild, they were doing like so good with their photo focus line at releasing a lot of foundation colors. So I'm kind of surprised that they're not releasing more colors in their line. So it also says vegan on the back. All of the, all of the eight colors are vegan. This is the lightest color. It has a little thingamabobber uh let's see oh here we go please remove film before use okay there it is this is gonna be way too dark for me but we're trying it anyway i'm going to be using the new foundation brush this is the p55 and i used it in the last like reviewing video as a contour because i don't know what i'm doing so i'm just going to dip that in there and then pray. Mm, okay. This is not a awful color match. It's not the best, but it's not bad. So I'm actually quite surprised. I'm gonna get quite a bit more product on there. This is kind of like a on the lighter side of co being coverage. Um, I was watching Dupe That, my friends over there, and um, I remember I shouldn't have watched their review after I tried the products, until after I tried the products, but Elle did say that this is a light coverage a foundation. This hurts. <laughs> this hurts. At least, like, stippling it in to my face so what I'm going to do here is just kind of like get on as much coverage as I can it has a weird scent too it's not like chemically but it's like perfumey can't take my hand at any booty blender and I'm just kind of pat that in okay it looks like slightly enhanced better skin Slightly. Ooh. But I need like a lot more coverage where I've had a breakout recently. 
so I'm just going to put this back away so it doesn't get dried out even though I'm, I'm probably not going to be reaching for this that often. I still want it to stay usable. So I'm going to go in with the Photo Focus Concealer. This is not a new product, but I don't think there's a new concealer available. I love their concealers so much. I love this one. I love the conceal one that's like in a stick. Ooh, I haven't tried the Illuminati one yet, but I do have with that. And then I love the Celebrity Concealer. This one's more of a light coverage kind of concealer. And I think I'm going to have to like put a lot on to kind of make up for the fact that this foundation has almost no coverage. Which some people are really into that. I think if you're like uh, ready to go on with your day, super easy day, then the compact cushions would be good. So I'm just going to continue with my concealer, blend it all out, and then we'll try out a new new product together let's see how this blends with the foundation and the primer oh not bad it actually looks pretty nice all together i don't really feel like the primer is giving me like any luminosity but then again i've never used a luminous primer so I don't really know what I'm looking for I think if you have a no makeup makeup day then I think that the primer even if you wore it alone I think that would look really pretty and then if you did the cushion foundation and you didn't like set it or anything maybe just with a setting spray I think that would look really pretty for a day like you're just gonna like run errands or something then you look kind of like slightly more enhanced but if you're looking for like full on glam full coverage I don't think that these are the best product choices but they do have the photo focus foundation for that if you're looking for that okay so what I'm gonna try here and I don't know if this is gonna work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, the foundation in a slightly darker this is 109 a neutral beige light medium slash cool and I'm gonna try to cream contour I don't know how this is gonna work out but we're gonna try it oh no oh no 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 nope that is awful that's a bad color bad color choice back up back up back up there's one more I think might work might no guarantees here let's try the natural beige 120a medium neutral actually there's two that we might be able to work with might oh you guys i thought that this was a mirror oh it is a mirror you just have to peel the thing off i ain't got time for that right now Okay, no, I don't like that either. Let's try one more color, and then if that doesn't work, we're just like done. I don't think this is gonna work either, but we're just gonna try. No. Oh my god. Well, let's just put it on both sides because. <laughs> I look like an Oompa Loompa. You know what, if you liked, if, or if you do like orange, orangey kind of contour colors, I think that this could work. But this just, it's not for me, let's move on. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to try this single shadow. This is in the shade Brulee, and I'm so excited to try this. It's reformulated. I've honestly never even tried the original one, but I know that this is like a classic and like everyone's favorite, so. I'm going to move on. I'm just going to use this new fluffy brush. It's VP20. And just 
set my eye. And you guys, I am an N20 in Cover FX for reference, if you're ever wondering. Just so I don't get that crease mess. The foundation actually looks pretty nice though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this is like exactly my skin tone, but I think if you're darker than me, this would also be nice as like a more of a highlight kind of color. It does have a lot of pickup, which I don't care. I don't mind that. Let's use the excess. So then as far as the eyeshadows go, none of them that I have right now are actually vegan so um i'm gonna have to like improvise a little bit so if they were vegan they would have a little v right down here none of these do none of the big ones that i have so i'm gonna have to find a home for these i'm not a huge fan of the way that this packaging is though like it's really hard if you have nails on. So this looks like it's gonna be a little bit of a shimmery, but it's called Nutty. I'm just gonna use the same brush. It has like a slight, slight shimmer to it. So hopefully it's gonna work out. I'm just gonna throw this in my crease. So I only have a few of the single shadows here, so I'm going to have to like create a look and do the best I can with what I have. So our look might be a little basic for me, if you know what I mean. Okay, I would usually prefer more matte, but you know, I'm not mad. So they also reformulated all of their glitter singles, and I believe all of them are vegan. So I'm going to go in with this one called Nudecomer on my lid. I'm going to take this little brush, the P15 brush. Ooh, weird. It has like a lot of glitter on top, and then like the bottom looks like more kind of like less glittery. So. This is really pretty. I don't know how it's gonna stay as far as like if it's going to be sticky. I think I have to do a little bit of extra. I think I'm gonna go in with Toasty. Okay, so this is like the same kind of thing. The outer part of my eye and like the little V part. Oh man, it's really sticky. So I'm not actually planning on wearing this anywhere, so. I don't know if I would necessarily do a whole eye look with these glitters because they are very wet. Then I'm going to take this color Envy and then put that on my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with this P25 brush. I don't know how this is going to work out in the color Envy and I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line. Okay, okay. You know, clearly this would work out better if I had more colors, but I'm not mad. I'm just going to use my beauty blender and bake that a little bit under my eye to kind of give it more of a blend. So I'm just using the e.l.f. antioxidant powder to set my under eyes and then just kind of going back in and this really helps to like blend out the lower lash line so something else i wanted to try out these hello halo um liquid highlighters this is what it looks like this is in the color holographic halo graphic halo graphic hollow Halo, halo H-A-L-O, Halo. So I'm just gonna take this P75 brush and just put a little bit on my brush. Okay. And I think all but one of these are vegan, by the way. And I'm just gonna do that, do this before I set my face. Ooh, but it's 
kind of picking up the foundation. So that's not cute. That's a problem that I have with like all the glitter cream highlighters. They always tend to do this. I don't know if it's me, the way that I apply things, or if it's like my skin. But my skin hates liquid and cream highlights. And I know that this might be a better idea to apply with your finger. Let's try that. Can you guys see that? Can you see that? It totally just picked up everything. Granted, I did set that with powder a little bit, but still down here is pretty sticky. Let's see if I can do that again. Let's put a little up here. Does it look like it picked up the pro It looks like it picked up the product. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Okay, so I probably would recommend just doing a brush so you can do like a light amount of product. <laughs> oh my god. So, I feel like I would definitely use a brush with this product. Mm. Let's try it down here a little bit. Oh yeah. This is like totally, totally picking up my foundation. Can you guys see my eyelids? Oh yeah, this feels like lip gloss on my eyelids okay so so I do really like these gel liners these lip liners but not a lot of them are actually vegan um, I do have one that they listed on their vegan list a while ago but none of these ones are vegan so that's a bummer oh but here's a brow pencil this doesn't have a V on it either so this is kind of a bummer that I can't use any of these, but whatever. All that I have left are a few liquid cat suits, and one of them is actually vegan. Cool. Um, once in a bronze moon, this one's vegan. And these ones are not vegan. Acai, so serious, and life so pink. Pinknick? Pinknick. Okay. So that's cool that there's one that's vegan. Oh, here's a couple lipsticks that are vegan. So I know that their silk ones are not vegan. So these are not vegan, but most of their mega last ones are vegan. And these are like so amazing for how much they are. This is Rose the Matter and Violet's Kiss. Let me open them and swatch them for you just so I don't feel like this is a total like mess of a video. So this is the liquid cat suit once in a bronze moon. And I do really like their metallic liquid lipsticks. I feel like they're very, very comfortable. So this is that. It's cute. She cute or whatever. And then these are the mega last ones. This is in a Violet's Kiss. Ooh, how pretty. I do kind of miss like just a old school like bullet lipstick those were these used to be some of my favorites and then rose the matter and neither of these are colors that i would really gravitate towards but they're very pretty and they're not expensive and they're vegan and then one last thing i wanted to do is i wanted to swatch these other highlighters so this is halo goodbye and that is on the bottom holy shit dude oh my god my beauty blender just fell on the floor and it bounced away and I thought it was a rat. Oh my god, that scared me so much. I love rats, but oh my god, that scared me. And then this is called Go With The Glow and I think that there's only one of these that's not vegan. That's that. 
So, I don't know. I didn't love these. If I'm being honest, yes, I was gifted all these products by Wet n Wild. But I'm not going to tell you guys to go buy things that I don't necessarily think are good products. So, I'm just going to leave, kind of leave that where that is. So, let's talk about things that I enjoyed. First of all, their brushes. I love most of these brushes. The foundation brush, I don't really necessarily... Well, I didn't like it that much. It does feel like very stiff, but I do like most of these brushes. My favorite brush of the collection that I've been I've been using this brush for like weeks is the P65 brush. It's just a very nice contouring shades contouring brush and it even like didn't do that bad with the cream product right now even though I look like a freaking mess and it's orange but I just wanted to try some stuff out today like not anything too serious just to see how <laughs> things kind of go and they kind of I didn't think it was gonna get this bad but they did let's just move on so I did like the primer as far as maybe doing a no makeup makeup day and then I did like the foundation as long as it's kind of like a no makeup makeup day as well I do really like these liquid cat suits in the metallic shades I have like four of them and I like them all a lot so even though I haven't put this one on my lips I think um, it's gonna do a good job these single eyeshadows I think they were pretty nice they look very nice but the glitter ones I think if you're doing like a an eye look and like that's it and you're just like taking a photo or like doing maybe even like a quick photo shoot I think these can look nice or maybe if you set them with a powder eyeshadow other than that they kind of do look like a greasy mess I'm definitely going to be using this brulee shade I like that a lot and then as far as everything else goes I'm definitely going to be picking up some palettes in store when they come out as you guys know some of these products are out already I believe the brushes are out and nothing else so I'm just gonna go in with like these little cards and just kind of do like a breakdown even though I look like a hot mess right now let's just ignore that here are the eyeshadows if you guys want to go ahead and take a screenshot or whatever the ones that are vegan they have the single shadows that are vegan labeled in sugar nutty brulee panther envy and mesmerized oh it looks like it's available already on their website and it's going to be available at in stores next month as far as the eyeshadow quads go the ones that are vegan are lights out walking on eggshells and hooked on vinyl and these are also available at the beginning of this month and the uh, beginning of next month. And then the Comfort Zone palette is the one that is vegan, which is also going to be really, it's released at the beginning of this month and in stores at the beginning, beginning of next month. As far as the vegan liquid highlighters go, here are the ones that are vegan. I think that these might be interesting to play with, maybe uh, not over makeup, maybe as like a mix in with makeup that might be cool as far as the foundation goes all of them are vegan these are the eight shades that are available i hope that they do expand their collection on that because i feel like this would be like a good no makeup makeup kind of day all of the glitter singles are vegan but as you guys know and you just heard me talk about uh i think there's a time and place for these and today for me was not that day the brow pencils are unfortunately not vegan the brushes are very beautiful and i have been liking them i've had a few of them over the past few months and i've been actually the past like i think like month um i really enjoy that one the new colors in the gel Lip liners are not vegan. All of the new colors that are coming out of the Mega Last lip colors are vegan. None of the silk lipsticks are going to be vegan. The Dewy Primer is vegan, as we already talked about. And the new Mega Slim Mascara is not going to be vegan as far as... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. All right. So the new Mega Last liquid lipsticks... The 
one that is vegan is once in a bronze mood as far as the metallic ones go and then all of the ones that are coming out in the regular liquid lipstick form they are all going to be vegan and they include behind the bleachers so noir cool lavender crown toffee talk loose change the shade is teal and caramel cake that's it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video even though i look like a mess please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave let me know if you enjoyed this type of video even though uh, it was a mess and i'm so sorry but i feel like everyone has those types of days where it's just like uh, let's try some makeup and then things don't necessarily always work out so that's where we are right now and let me know if you guys have tried these products if you guys like these products uh, let me know if they work for you if they didn't work for you let me know if there's something that maybe I should have done differently because we all know that I'm not a makeup artist I just am a makeup enthusiast so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys